So what is Purim really celebrating? Is it just another holiday of they tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat? There's actually something much deeper. When Haman, the wicked tyrant in the story, was trying to convince King Ahasuerus to give him permission to annihilate the Jews, what did he say to Ahasuerus? He said, he used the words, Yeshno Amechad, there is this one nation, Mefuzar u Mefurad ben Amim, scattered amongst the nations, referring to the Jewish people. And the sages of the Talmud commented that when Haman said that, that phrase, Yeshno Amechad, there is this one nation, what he really meant to say was Yashan. It's the same word linguistically connected. Yashan means to sleep. Now don't worry, Achashverosh, about any repercussions from their God because they are spiritually asleep. They have no connection and therefore no zechut, no merit for God to come in and to save the Jewish people. And he continued by saying, Mefuzar u mefurad amim, that the Jews, they're scattered amongst the 127 provinces of ancient Persia. Don't worry, there's no achdus, there's no unity. They're not going to stick up one for the next. They're disconnected from each other. So you have nothing to worry about, not from God and not from the Jews themselves. Which is why when Queen Esther saved the day and she called Mordechai and she said, here's what I need you to do. She said to Mordechai, Knos et kol hayudim hanimtsaim b'shushan, gather together all the Jews that are in Shushan, v'tzomu alai, and fast for me. She was going to go before the king and ask the king to come to a party and have this whole arrangement to expose Haman to the king and save the Jews. But she understood that deeply what was happening beneath the surface was that there was a disconnect between the Jewish people and God, as Haman pointed out, and there was also a disconnect between one Jew and the next, and that's what made us weak and vulnerable to our enemies. And that's why Esther said to Mordechai, gather the Jewish people and have them fast for me. Bring the Jewish people together. We need unity, and not unity simply for the sake of unity, but getting us together and reconnecting with God. Ultimately, that is what we believe saved the day and brought about the salvation, not simply that we had a Jewish queen in the palace, but that queen, together with the prophet and the great sage Mordechai, was able to figure out deeply what was problematic. We were disconnected from each other and disconnected from God. And that's what we're celebrating on Purim, our ability to reconnect with God and with each other. When we say at the end of the Megillah, let the Jewish people always have happiness and joy. We mean that we should be together, connected to one another and connected to God. That's what we're celebrating on Purim. Happy Purim to you and to your families. Enjoy.